and welcome everybody here on twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some twisted kindred we're going to go hard with a kindred deck featuring the spell go hard this is a deck that's just like the elise twisted fate go hard deck that was uh, very popular for a long time if you remember that one but with a new champion that can impact the game more with kindred kindred allows us to um, slay some larger units sometimes it's difficult for us to kill large units and kindred can do that and uh, kindred can just it's just a you know a really good card that your opponent has to worry about while you're you know playing all of your other stuff and going wide and, and everything like that. So to replace Elise in the two drop slot, we're playing Curse Keeper instead. And I was really happy with Curse Keeper last time because we're going to be even just using like Go Hard on Curse Keeper. We're going to do that quite a bit to be able to turn Curse Keeper into a four three and then be able to get the Go Hards into our deck if our opponent's not playing units for us to Go Hard. And then that also. Um, that also is an easy way to slay things, right? Like we can just have a kindred in play, have a curse keeper in play, and then just slay our own curse keeper with a go hard. That also works. We also got the new spirit leech, which also works great with the curse keeper and also allows us to draw more cards. We're playing this over salvage to be able to dig through our deck to look for more go hards. All right, let's give it a try. Well, that's very kind of you, Night Striker. Thank you so much. All right, we got some, we got some aggro. Misfortune King Plank. Let's mulligan the Spirit Leech, and we're gonna keep the rest of these. We're gonna keep this, all these lower cost stuff. Blighted Caretaker in the deck. I mean, I do really like Blighted Caretaker, but I don't know if it fits. It, it's, you know, you'd have to play it like over like Doom Beast probably, but I like how. I like the Nexus healing that Doom Beast provides. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. Um, so I don't I don't know if it fits. It's a good card, I just don't know I don't know where you'd put it. I would like to draw the card go hard. All right, I think we need to just go ahead and pool shark right now. So pool shark gets me another card, and I, it's basically like if that card is yeah, I'm gonna do it. Well, hmm. now we won't. We'll see what that card would have been. Okay, it would have been spray fin, so I would have burned it. But we would have digged one closer to looking for a go hard. Sub kindred. All right, well, we will make the obvious blocks. We're taking three down to 15. No. No. Go back. Attack with everything. All right. Still taking three. Down to 15. There's plenty of killing there. All right, so the Curse Keeper is getting burned. Only have three cards in hand. For the Empire. For the glory of Noxus. Let's do this. All right, more go, more go hards back in the deck. If I wait till next turn, I could play like Kindred first and then and then kill that. But we don't know if like they're gonna be like attacking first and getting that one damage in. I just don't need to. I don't need to focus on getting like squeaking out every single inch of value. I need to focus on staying alive a little bit more than that. Okay, where are you after leveling up? Three out of five. All right, so can't level up this turn. Cannot level up this turn. Yeah, Go Hard works very well with 
Kindred, yep. Alright, so the bad news is we are just going to be marking this powder keg. Oh, wait. Right. That powder could die, so never mind. Okay, so we marked that thing. So, anyway, so we, we still killed someone with the mark. They are at four out of five. I want them to play some more stuff first. No, I guess I don't. Well, it's, you know, it's kind of all about like Noxion Fervor. Are they going to have Noxion Fervor? Please, no Noxion Fervor. You know, now they had they played this other thing though to protect Gangplank. Just let it happen. Okay, good. We mark that thing now. We might as well attack with this. So the good news is that we're at 11. The bad news is they have a Gangplank. And if they can level up the Gangplank at all, that'll be bad for me. And, you know, like, the cards in my hand don't really do anything. Love it. Great draw. All right, so we still don't get to mark the Gangplank. The Gangplank would only do one damage attacking, so it would only kill the Sprayfin. Definitely considering just trading, Kindred. I think I just trade here. Because it's kind of how do I lose if, if Gangplank's dead. But then again... Because, yeah, like this, like, this is, like, decimate range. I don't want to go to decimate range. Oh, wait, but now we won't kill this demolitionist. Hmm, I guess that's a thing. Alright, definitely playing you. Unfortunately, the Vengeance is fleeting. Perfect. What a great draw for them. That's perfect. Okay, I'll just hold on to this Curse Keeper. May find something better to play here. There we go. Look at that. That worked out. Yes, Harvey, it worked out. It did. Okay, 1-0. Perfect finish. They can go pack their bags. Okay, we got Elise and Timo. 
That should be an aggro deck. You're gone. Kindred, you're cool, but I'm going to actually mulligan you from the opener. I, we really want Gohard. That's the card that we want the most. Considering mulliganing the deckhand as well, because we really do want Gohard. Oh, you think that they're going to be a Gohard mill deck? I guess that's also, that's also a possibility. I'll send you back. We got, yeah, we got other ones and twos. Yep, that's why I really wanted to find Go Hard for this card here. A game. Go on, then. The old turn one pool shark. Watch this. Because it, if it is Go Hard, we will find it. Or it will help us find it. Where do you stand on cold shots? And, ready. and if it's not go hard, we can just burn it. I don't care. Armed and ready. Yuck. No, we're doing a terrible job drawing Go Hard. Go on, then. Yuck. Terrible job drawing Go Hard. Not even like a Twist of Fate red card either. Not even a Withering Whale. Whole bunch of nothing. Whole bunch of glimpse beyonds. Against the puff cap deck. Go hard. Hmm. Well, the withering whale's good. Kind of crazy how much we mulligan and how many cards we drew, and just not even a single go hard. Very poorly this game. Because yeah, they had the turn one Teemo and I, I couldn't even stop it. Yeah, I didn't even have didn't have a go hard or a twisted fate until it was much too late. Deal me in. Dead in their tracks. Be good to have Twisted Fate die. So, Dead tw Twisted Fate does a few things. One, if we draw another Twisted Fate, we get to play it. Two, it doesn't feel like I want to level up Twisted Fate against 
Um, or like level up Twisted Fate whenever you have all these puff caps, right? Because you don't want to get all the blue cards and stuff. What happened? No! Still alive. For a second. What happened? Alright, still alive. I kind of have to kill them this turn. I'm always up for a round or two. No. Yeah, terrible mulligan. Terrible mulligan. see this kind of being a tough matchup. We'll have to see. Reckoning can uh, wreck us. Spirit Leech and Glimpse Beyond do draw cards. The next time we find a turn one, a go hard for turn one is going to be the first time. Doesn't it feel like whenever you play against Gohard decks, they always have like a whole bunch of Gohards? I hate having to put my face on. Cool. Smoke and mirrors. Who's that you got there? Hey, there we go. How about that? Finally found one. Second red card. That's a really good draw. So I can just kind of see what I want to do. Because, like, if they use protection on this, I can gold card. Okay. My opponent's probably like, oh, how do they draw so many go hearts? It's like, <laughs> took us a while to find them. That's for sure. Took us a while to find those. Okay, so now we have six Gohards in our deck. Six out of the 35. Of course, what we're looking for, one of those six out of the thirty-five. We'll unite the frail yard. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Where are you going? You're bluffing. Hey, Amir. Alright, we got two looks at it. Nope. Nope. I've whipped up something special. Let's do this. Suppose you want in on this. Oh, suppose I should leave you be. I was really hoping they were going to be scared of pack your bags. Gross. 
Wow. Why why do they even have like me block here? Avarosa, guide me. That's 20, that's game. I guess I can vengeance. I was just thinking withering well. Vengeance, that's 14. So the reason why I didn't play this last turn is because I wanted to Kindred and Withering Whale, but that open attack was not so good for me. I can just go Glimpse Beyond and try to draw Packer Bags. So if they have Reckoning, I'm going to lose. I guess I could have played the Curse Keeper to help out a little bit against Reckoning. I wanted the spell mana. Well. Alright. Yeah, I also enjoy playing Swain decks, and yeah, I think Silver Swain will be pretty cool. So yeah, we'll play that one here in a little while. Probably play it on like Wednesday or Thursday. Pool Shark's gonna go. And Deckhand's gonna go. I wish I would've kept Deckhand. I was worried with Deckhand, you know, with Fiora, with having the... the 0-1 and the 2-2 body, both of those against Fiora. Looks like it could be a good Withering Whale. They can be chilling with Denies over there. You will remember this day. Yeah, I mean, they basically need Deny. Hopefully no Deny. Just play like a Barrier card. Barrier. Barrier. No Deny. No Deny. I've been playing very slowly, so a Deny would make sense, but... Wow. That was pretty big. River shape the land and give it life. That was pretty big. All right, put some more go hards in the deck. Hmm. Hey, got a river shaper out of here. And yes, I'll I'll trade a sharp sight for one of those. Okay. But you know, force them to have a sharp sight. Test them on that. 
See if they did. And yeah, I'd be able to glimpse beyond anyway, if they did. It's been a surprising game so far, because they've played zero spells so far. Changes but never breaks. Enforced equilibrium. Say your farewell. I don't want them drawing spells for free. I like them not having spells. Lame. All right, they got a spell. What form will the waters take? So we, we can try for like powder keg, go hard. This will be the third go hard again. Last time we couldn't find the packer bags. Last game, hopefully we find the packer bags this game. So like, my plan is to play Kindred, play go hard, even like go harding one of my own things. Try to just like mark this River Shaper. Yeah, they need Concerted Strike. Yeah, that's 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 the card I'm worried about is Concerted Strike. So we know we know this card right here is a spell for sure. River Shaper drew this. And they haven't played like, they played one spell this whole game. Okay, good. Well, now they've tapped out. We can go hard their thing. We can kill that. Mark the River Shaper. The Kindred is sweet. Good job, Kindred. I find them unworthy. The balance has been maintained. Clear off. He's down. Okay. We're gonna have to block. I'm sorry, Kindred. But you're gonna have to block. Which is like, do I spirit journey the Shen? Just if they ha if they have a fight spell or or a deny, this works out very poorly for me. If they don't, this works out great. If they have neither a fight spell nor a deny, this will work out great. I could just let it happen and have a new kindred to play though. So like this is like not worst case scenario if I just play new kindred. Let's go for it. Yeah, it's really fight spell is the worst case scenario. I mean, even like, well, because like deny kills my kindred. I, mean, I guess I don't have to block here with the kindred, though. Yeah, the fight spell. And yeah, so it resets the Shen. Not great. This this turned into a game that was like looking great to a game that's now horrible <laughs> pretty quickly. Yeah, and we had the worst the worst possible draw on our deck. <laughs> I find them unworthy. 
All right, so yeah, those two turns, the single combat, the lifesteal barrier, those couple of turns went as bad as it could. But the Glimpse Beyond's a good draw. Maybe we'll find Packer Bags this game. I should probably just glimpse beyond this curse keeper in combat. No, I, I like the curse keeper. The fading icon gets messy. I've been very happy with the curse keeper. They did end up having the Concerted Strike as well. By my honor, you must die. For silver, my dog. For gold, I please it. Mm. Not sure if it's worth attacking these four threes. To block one with the Cythria. Precision and grace. Yeah, because they go barrier there. Counter and strike. If this works out, we get to kill the Shen and kill the Fiora. Alright. Very good. Okay. Looking good, looking good. That was pretty important. <laughs> oh, we are so bad at drawing pack your bags. Oh, man. Well... We're so bad at drawing pack your bags. Probably been about 15 cards last game in this game with no packer bags. Six of the 21 right now in our deck are currently packer bags. So it looks good for us. They're going to have to, you know, draw something to kill this. Sprayfin. We should be just fine. Like they, they can draw like sharp sight. Something right, but if we if we do find Packer Bags, we're good. Yay. Probably good. Because if it's if it's denied, then they die to Sprayfin. I honestly, right there, I almost like made a huge mistake. <laughs> I didn't really even pay attention to my my mana. I was just like under the assumption, oh, I got plenty of mana, I can cast whatever. But we were exactly like, what if I would have played that Kindred and I only had four mana? I really didn't pay attention. And like that fleeting packer bags goes away. With grace and precision. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. All right, back at it, Fiora Shen again. It didn't seem like our opponent had a very good Fiora Shen hand last game. We'll look at the Withering Whale. We have Twisted Fate this time. That's cool. <laughs> you remember back when Shadow Assassin did as much as Sprayfin? Yeah, that was a long time ago. All right, well, all of our cards cost four. Vine and whisk. Steady my hand. 
nothing left when I'm done. I'll wait on you, pool shark. This'll send them running. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Never lost a fair game. Whoa, Tokrak! Thank you for gifting out some subs. That's very kind of you, Tograk. Oh, Tograk's bringing the hype. Redeem the 1v1 also. Love it. Okay. One v one hype. We have almost killed the Shen. A bunch of little pool sharks aren't necessarily so good against Screeching Dragon, though. I'm thinking red card? No, it's probably just spray fin, hope we draw, go hard. Go hard, Shen. Show them what we're made of. So three is great against me. All of our stuff is, you know, one and two power, so three is pretty great against me. Yeah, that, that was good. So basically, I'm sacrificing two two twos to do three damage to them. Maybe that doesn't really sound like worth. Yes, yeah, a three a big problem. Just hope they don't have rally effects. So they still just have so many cards over there. It's just a a really good hand of, you know, Shen, Screeching Dragon, Scythria. These are like the you know, like they're the biggest things in their deck, right? So they're the hardest things for me to deal with. Oh, yeah, I mean, there's Bright Steel Formation, sure. Yeah, I guess that card's big, but I mean, that... They are under my protection. Card's like a... You know, a card takes forever to play. You got legs. Use them. I can't... I can't block that. That's fearsome. I can't block it. Hopefully no fight spells. It's our first go hard. Oh, never mind. I guess yeah. I can, never mind. It's our second go hard because but they nopified the other one also. So they nopified both of them. Wait a 
Well, that's all I got. Balance favors you. Why? No, like, so, so, okay, yes, yeah, so the question is why I use the kindred spell on just on the kindred to mark the Shen and kill the Shen. Honor, you must die. Kindred kills stuff at the end of turn, like, whenever you mark with kindred. And so, like, that, that's the round, at, at, like, the end of the round, that's when you kill things with the mark. And so that Shen would, would have dealt damage to me and killed me. Oh, I don't have the mana for that. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. Yeah, so that that's why I had to do that was to stay alive. Okay, well, we do have leveled up Twisted Fate, so that's cool. And I have the backup Twisted Fate here. How much mana do I have? Immediately. I need to clear room. I already can't beat like rally cards and, and fight spells and stuff like that anyway. So it's not like, you know, I'm not like this isn't good against rally cards and fight spells. I can't beat that stuff anyway. playing the deck hand before the red card of course tried. <clears throat> so the Jagged Butcher can block Fearsome. I already have three things that can block Fearsome. You know, the Fortune Croaker just draws another card and, and maybe, you know, like two out of 17 maybe draws another Go Hard. I should probably play the Jagged Butcher. Yeah, that's just the safer play. Vengeance. It's Brayfin. Hopefully this Withering Rail gets through. Hopefully no Deny. They didn't play a Deny on my Go Hard last game, the last turn, which would have been my last Go Hard. Because they already countered two of them. So if they had to deny, they could have countered the third go hard, and then I wouldn't have any of the rest of the game. Who's that 
Alright, moment of truth. Does this work? Heart of the cards. They just let this happen. You know, we clear out the board. We're in a good spot. Wow. We are coming back. We are coming back. Wow. Don't call to come back. Okay. We're getting there. What a big withering whale that was. Because even they like they could have had more barrier cards in hand, but they couldn't do anything with more barrier cards. They yeah, they had just played two sharp sights right before that. Okay. Sure, sure. with the mark. I know I could attack for two and they probably don't have a sharp sight because they haven't been playing it, but it's just I can hit the pass turn button and kill the Fiora, so I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to click the pass turn button and kill that Fiora. Still levels up, Kindred. This was a sweet game. And there we go. Got the win. With Twisted Kindred. Got our revenge after losing last time. All right, so I ended up three and two. Positive record here with Twisted Kindred. We didn't get to face Fizz Twisted Fate, right? I wanted to face that matchup with like my Go Hards and stuff. But just in general, we did find out that drawing Go Hards definitely better than not drawing Go Hards. I didn't, you know, like with this kind of deck, you don't want to face the really big units, right? Because those can be difficult to kill. That's why we're playing Kindred to help us kill those large units. Um, and so I, I, uh, didn't love seeing our opponent have the Shen and then Screeching Dragon and then Scythria kind of hand, especially Scythria with that Fearsome. I didn't expect to win that game, but we just kind of stayed alive. We used Kindred's Champion spell to to not take lethal for a turn and kept staying alive, staying alive, staying alive. And we eventually um, leveled up Twisted Fate and ended up getting there. So yeah, there we go. This is a This is definitely a real good deck against your smaller units, though. Uh, against smaller aggro decks and it's a good one so i think this is the best kindred deck as far as somebody has asked me before like what's the best kindred deck this is probably the one that i'd recommend um as far as the the best way to use kindred all right and that's that's it that's twist kindred so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments uh, always enjoy those if you've been playing this deck yourself let me know how it's been going for you i would appreciate that all right, but that's all I got here for Twisted Kindred. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.